Greetings and welcome once again to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel. So in a previous video, this one here, I critiqued that idiot Jerome Keisler's drivel called an infinitesimal approach. Now notice that in chapter two, uh, this is how he tries to explain the derivative, which is absolute drivel because of course that's also done on Wikipedia, that big shitload of mainstream crap run by morons like mainstream professors and their idiotic lackeys. Um, so what this uh, ultra baboon uh, Leibniz was trying to do was say that there were two points. Okay, so two points, make them red like that. There were two points very close to each other. Okay. Two infinitely close points. Of course, points don't have size. But somehow, according to the stupid Kraut, these points were so small, so small, that, uh, and they were so close together. So in other words, if you, if you had this, you'd have, he'd say there were two points there so close together like that. And the tangent line was defined on those two points. But the problem is a tangent line doesn't cross in two points. So that automatically breaks the definition of a tangent line, which was defined by one of my brilliant ancestors, somebody called Apollonius. And in his work on conics in 225 BC, a tangent line is defined as a line such that no other straight line could fall between it and the curve. You can see immediately that this dribble of Leibniz and one of his very late idiots called Jeremy Keisler is obviously wrong, okay? You can't get a line falling between the tangent and the curve ever. There's no, that's impossible. So this definition here obviously is a load of drivel and that's the definition that you are taught in mainstream calculus, which is a load of crap. Now, in the Wikipedia site, uh, it's kind of funny because when they talk about tangent lines, let's just go there for a second. Uh, so I posted this here. I said, <laughs> the BS article claims that it, he's being dismissed and the modern definition are equivalent to those of Leibniz who defined the tangent as a line through a pair of infinitely close points. I said, by whom was it dismissed? Notice it, uh, you know, they don't state who. By the stupid apes in mainstream mathematics academia? Uh, indeed, pair of infinitely close points is such a load of rubbish that there is no such thing. You can't even describe what it means to be a pair of infinitely close points. And so this fucking moron here, D. Lazard, comes and uh, posts a comment here saying it's not a definition. Uh, of course it is a definition. He says, uh, because no one has ever given a mathematical definition of a line which touches a curve. Well, you fucking moron. Apollonius did. That was the definition of a line which touches a curve. Why do you think, Apollonius said, a tangent line is defined as a line such that no other uh, straight line could fall? That is mathematical, you fucking moron, you piece of shit. Just because it's written in English, it's not mathematical. You mean you wanted it written in uh, propositional logic and set theory, you vile pieces of shit. I piss and shit on you. I dismiss your shit, okay? So don't you dare say that it hasn't been. Uh, and so then again, uh, the, the another, another drivel, Jacobulus, whoever this piece of shit is, pops up and says, the comment is delivered with the grace of a brick through a window. Well, I said, even if I threw a concrete block on their skulls, I would feel sorry for the concrete block because there are such a bunch of stupid people. Right, so anyway, I'm going to, probably going to be banned from here, and this is also going to be removed. But I wanted you to see the kind of intransigence that you're dealing with, with these vile cowards, these ignorant and incorrigibly stupid people who run Wikipedia and the math articles. Okay, don't trust anything you read on Wikipedia. Uh, always look at it with the greatest suspicion because... All of their views are based on George Cantor and his delusional ideas of infinity. I mean, what the fuck does a pair of infinitely close points even mean? 
there is nothing you can do to convince me that there is such a thing because that that's not even mathematics and yes this is mathematics a tangent line is defined and it can be defined and it can be uh, stated mathematically it says that the line intersects at the point of tangency in only one point that's what it says whereas your garbage you vile pieces of shit talks about infinitely close points load of rubbish so i dismiss them <laughs> how dare they say that they dismiss things i mean I, I, it's such a joke now listen people neither leibniz nor nor newton knew what the fuck they were doing by the way they couldn't even prove their claims about integrals and area and they were walking like blind guides in a mist okay you know newton's so-called proof in his uh, main publication is such a load of hand-waving rot and it's actually a fraud as i explained to you in this article to which i shall place a link and then of course the britannica entry for mean value theorem, theorem is wrong okay totally wrong and you can read this article and of course mainstream academics don't have a clue what the main value what the mean value theorem is about it's the fundamental theorem of calculus and guess what morons it doesn't give a shit about inflection points <laughs> which means you haven't really refuted anything about my new calculus the new calculus does not allow, allow derivatives at main at points of inflection and that's no problem at all <laughs> laughing in your faces you idiots i hope you all die soon painfully my name's John Gabriel. If you're not already a subscriber, become one. Click like, tell your friends about this, tell your moronic teachers and lecturers, and sub uh, subscribe and click like, as I said. Till next time, I'm John Gabriel. Goodbye.